The first is the tagging, tracking, and modeling of almost everything in the world. This movement, this movement from thinking about products to thinking about systems and how products interact in them. The second thing that's happening is the personalization of almost anything. The idea that instead of making one thing for many people, uh, we're going to start to increasingly make the right thing for you. We're moving from tracking containers to tracking molecules. That's fascinating to me as we get more granular on that side of the technology. Because what it enables is the rise of what I call personal chemistry. Today, we do occasional chemical testing of our bodies, like pregnancy tests. Tomorrow, we're going to increasingly test every molecule that goes in it. This is a gluten sensor made by six uh, sensor labs. It's going to break through a lot of the issues that celiacs have with eating out. A really impressive technology. The thing we're not talking about yet, and I think it's one of the major changes in the next 15 years in the world, is synthetic biology. This is a DNA laser printer. It actually encodes the DNA of life so that you can put it into a living uh, being and change it. You can design it. Today, most of this is being used for designing things like yeasts and E. coli, so that instead of a yeast uh, outputting something like alcohol for beer, it outputs another chemical. 